Okay, for this first video we're going to look at engagers 1 and 2. For a start we'll assume that light is shining on the sphere coming from the top left corner. As a general rule of thumb, this is what we will apply to all shapes. One of the easiest ways of doing a sphere or a circle is to create bands around which can be shaded. So effectively, I'm going to break it up into approximately five sections. So we would have the lightest through to the darkest section. So within these five sections, again, another little trick just to help you would be to create a tonal range. So if you create a rectangle with five bands in the first band, if you shade as light as possible through to as dark as possible, in the last band, you then find a medium shade. This can be numbered up one, two, three, four, five, and then try and find a range between the other two colours. So, once you've established your colour palette, you would then apply them one, two, three, four, five. So working through, going from the lightest possible shade, darkening it ever so slightly as you run through. And as we work out, moving around the shape, get darker and darker, moving out. And then what we'll eventually do right at the end is we'll come back and we'll blend these sections. Now you can move the paper around to make it easier for yourself. Obviously from the point of view of this video that will make it more complicated and hard to swatch always constantly moving around the image. But once you've got it roughly shaded you can then just remove those gradations. You can darken it up a little bit if you want around the edges. And if you find that you've made it too dark in sections, you can always just take a rubber to the shape and lighten off sections. So that is Engager 1. Obviously you'll do a far easier job than me on this. Moving on to Engager 2. For this we're going to need to draw a 3D cube. First thing to do is start off with a 90 degree line. Once we've established the first line, we can then set two more lines to the side. From there, link up the lines, drawing across approximately 30 degrees to create a isometric cube. From there, again, we will apply shading as we've done with the sphere light is coming from the top side then the top surface will be light the surface opposite the light source will be dark and that leaves our third surface to be medium again we would apply colors from the color palette one will be the lightest surface on top five will be the darkest surface on the far side and then finally three will be applied to the medium side. A little trick you can use is to use a ruler up to the side of it. This just prevents you going over the lines. Try and keep all your pencil lines running in the same direction. When you've completed the shapes, you are then ready to move on to the first drawing task.